Alrighty, folks. New day. Don't know what we're doing yet. I think I'm going to bounce around a little bit and just half finish a bunch of things. <laughs> um, I think we're going to try to at least make the panel that's going to go inside of here. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to finish it. I just want to get it in intact so I kind of have a better visual of what's going to happen there. From there, I think we're going to move around, just bang out some dents on the cab here. There's not too much. There's a little bit over here. I think the door is pretty good. Well, there's a little bit of a wowie over here. Uh, this is just what it is, so that'll just have to get filled down here. Yeah, nothing, nothing too bad. Let's get a couple dingers on the fender. I don't know that I'm going to worry about those just yet. Uh... This cab, we got to do some massaging over here. Looks like we did the old wallop to get her out. Got one dent up here. Got to fix the front of the door a little bit. I thought there was a dent back here. Yeah, a little dent back here and back here. So we'll try to hit that stuff. Try to get that squared up a bit. Uh, and then maybe we will work on the fenders here a little bit. I want to see if I can push this up a little bit and try to make this a little more round. Back here is not too much of a bother, but uh, this one would be nice if we could do something. I'm not exactly sure how we're going about it, but we'll uh, probably lift it, pull the wheels off, and then maybe we can do some slits and just forcefully push the fender up. Maybe that'll work. I'm worried though it's going to cause the fender to want to like curl in a whole bunch, so We'll have to uh, gently play with that and see how that goes. I think that's enough things for now. <laughs> uh, if we get further, we'll see. <laughs> right, pup? You ready to work? Not really, eh? All right, let's get started.
Well, we cut that panel off and then it ended up, this panel was too far. So we kind of strunk, like I kind of clinked it, had it sandwiched in place, didn't like it. We pulled out the plasma. We actually just cut a chunk of that backing plate that I made. I don't know, didn't really have any purpose. So we removed that. That way this thing can actually roll a little nicer. Uh, what else did we do? Then I proceeded to cut some of this off because what I want to do is have this thing sitting kind of inside of here. I don't want it above. I'm trying to, hmm, how do we put this? I think with a piece, eventually when we do this, I kind of want the steel to sit midway. So what I got to do now is for this thing, we'll have some roundness here. I guess if you were like under the truck or something, because this is like almost ride height actually, where we have it right now. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, I want that pipe to sit, or the steel, to sit just inside of here. I want it to come up probably right around where the weld is. We're gonna keep coming up and then here. So now uh, I had two pieces left. I used them here. Somewhere I have that, I think it's over there, the tube with the the last two 90s that I got. What I want to do is put those in here, similar to how we did it up here. I'd like to do a bigger option here, but I want to put that tube and round into this corner. So this has a flow like this, like, and inside the illusion is this is like another round. This kind of does something, but it's round. Well, in my head anyways, it makes sense. <laughs> so, we're going to go grab this little bit over here and then uh, we'll chop this stuff up. we got little roundy bits here, which should look pretty once we cut them up and stick them. Basically, I want the inner curbs to come in there. Maybe we'll actually use some more of this, like some of the pipe even. Cause actually, this looks pretty nice. I do that and we kind of blend that makes this corner a little fatter, but that's okay. I think it'll look pretty nice. All right. Now the goal is to cut this all up and kind of make it work in there.
well, that turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So we got this down, well, depending on the angle you look, but there is that wow again. So I like it. So when we sink this in, um, I don't have anything, but you can see the, the depth I'm trying to get here. So hopefully we can kind of carry that throughout this whole transition. I like it. But that's about as far as I think I'm going to get tonight. Uh, yeah, we'll hit it again tomorrow and hopefully get that back panel built. And then, uh, I don't know if I'll test, well, maybe we'll test fit the lights. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we just keep working on here and we can save all the other stuff for later. Be really cool to get. Yeah, we got to get that going. Eh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's another day.
Check it out. That is kind of what I envisioned. It's just deep enough that everything else kind of pokes. I wouldn't mind it a little deeper, but here we'll have to do a little bit more just because, well, whatever. Yeah, we got a little more on this side. So I'd like to do a little more. We might have to trim the bottom. I'd like this to be poke out a little bit more. Kind of like the top, I'm trying to get that straight. Now, when we grab a set of lights, well, these kind of end that there. I guess it's going to have this Corvette vibe to it, eh? If I like them way up there. Or should it be like that? Well, that way almost looks nicer. It's got little peaks on it. Look at that. I don't know. I mean, I like the lights. We're going to use that. Have to uh, maybe just get these things mounted and then we'll see how how it is. I don't know which way. I think we have to commit. Well, that might be pretty centered. I think this way would be neat because like I say, it's got these little little tops on there. Get those and then we build some kind of a polish something to connect through the license plate. I think I have to go outside. I think I have a meteor or something out there. Somebody mentioned that how this thing is like hot garbage. It sort of works. But uh, the Fords have a flip down. And I'm pretty sure I do. There's a blue one that I have out there. So I'm going to run out there. I'm going to grab that. That way we can kind of get that all mounted properly. And... Yeah, maybe we'll punch these holes. We'll put a few more tacks in this thing. I think this is okay. Maybe we do it a little more. I was worried I was going to come short, but it actually worked out okay. <laughs> I thought somehow my cut got crooked. My shear does not like the very fine edge, so it took a couple tries to get it. And then I almost wondered if I accidentally sheared it crooked, but I think it's uh, good. The gaps are all nice all around. Ready for an insane amount of welding everywhere here, but... Okay, like I said, let's go look and dig out this thing. Grab a couple tools and grab the other license plate holder. Hopefully I brought all the right junk. I've got a few things out here, but I believe this car is supposed to have a flip down or something. Ooh, that is a weird... I don't know that I like that. Oh, and I'm missing half of it. That's neat, but I really don't like that. That doesn't have... Mercs, I know, don't have it. Pontiac won't. This Buick won't. I think any of these trucks do. Dodge, no. Oh. I guess I'm hooped. All right. Well, I don't have anything. <laughs> uh, that poor thing, eh? I do plan to do this again, but it's gonna not be in its final form, like as it was. I think we'll redo the interior and we're gonna embrace what's all happened to it. And it's pretty much gonna have a really rough finished look on this thing. I think that's that's how it's going to get reincarnated anyways, my thought. All right, I guess I'm back to the shop because I don't have what I thought I had. <laughs> I know I don't have any more in the garage, so I don't think this studio has that either. I don't know why it would. No, that's a permanent really would like to do this thing too but that's a a little more in the future a little further away well i'll probably work on it but i want to probably just try to do the mechanical get it to run drive as as it is and then uh, then maybe one day customize it but 
I gotta finish my truck first, because a lot of people have been inquiring. And then we'll have the coupe in to take over a nice space in the shop. That one is gonna be a much, much bigger project. So that one might be over the next year or so, or however long it takes. I feel like I gotta rebuild a lot of panels. I think I mentioned that before, but anyways, I will see you guys in the shop. <laughs> Hi, surprise! Ugh. Whole lot of welding. I can see that. Do you want this? There you go. Well, Doing the back panel and trying not to warp it. That's new since the last time I was in here. I got one little, one little got her a little too warm right there. Oh. We got a little dippity doo. Can you straighten that out? Yeah, I'll just kind of give her a little hammer dolly. She'll there come out. Go. Basically, we're trying to do. I'm not a guy who likes to tack. I don't know why. I, I like to have everything welded solid. I think. I don't know why. A lot of people will sit and tack every inch and call it done. I don't, I don't know. This is me. This is what I've always known, so. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, we got this in, and then, uh, yeah. The next thing, I need to take a break from welding anyways. Speaking of, well, my plan is gonna be to, uh, I think, get these into there. Because then in the big picture, we'll have our, this one's, no bueno, no good. I tried to look for a different one, but it's not very good. So I'll have to either fix this one or find another one. Flip down plate. But uh, yeah, I basically want to just start by doing these flush. And if that looks good, then I leave it. And then if I don't, I can, I think I can flip them. The reason why I'm thinking I want to go, I think it, for some reason, I think it looks good this way. I don't know why, just because of that. Do it again? Yeah, you have the one way. Yeah. And then I have the other way. I like that way better. I do, but these also have a very cool little top on them. Let's see, see. little. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I think that's a neat little touch. Huh. And then I'd like to try to make an aluminum strip or something that goes to the license plate. Yep. So this gets finished. I still don't know if I can have French him or not, so I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm just gonna commit and just bust some holes in here and see what happens. But kind of. So you're gonna French them? No, just put them, they have to mount flush. Okay. So I just gonna let it down. I'm gonna try to uh, mount those up. I'd like to do that and get the license plate in. Oh. <clears throat> 
that's kind of the plan here. But I think I'm going to have to transfer that to... I'm not very accurate with this stuff, so... Sorry, Pablo. I just stepped on him. Pablo. Then why are you being in people's way, hmm? Hmm? You sit he a little close. He doesn't understand personal space. <laughs> <laughs> never has, never his, will. Yeah, not his forte. Nope, never has, never will. Try to get in this way here. Well, what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to make at least a template of the holes. I have a knockout, like a hydraulic knockout. So I should be able to easily make these, but I think I got to get it. I got one shot at it. Get a get on the truck. Mm. <laughs> That's not so easy to do over. No, I mean it's steel. I can re-weld it and fix it. But yeah, see these even have little drains. If water got in there. I think it's. Uh... Oh yeah. I mean I can eyeball this, but I think I wanna. Yeah, no, I gotta. I should template that. It could be bad. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? My experience, I'm not the... Maybe I'll get my knockout, because maybe I can actually make a proper round circle right away. That would be nice. So I have to drill a hole that's supposed to be center, and that's not my forte. Have we got three inch? Do we have three and a half? Three and a half. I feel that's pretty close. Um, where do we start here? <laughs> Pablo, you gotta leave people some space. Can't be shoving everybody all the time. He doesn't understand. No. Again, not his forte. Personal space. He's a leaner. He's a pusher. Ag aggressive pusher. Aggressively pushes. Yeah. All right, well, we'll set the top up that that's... I don't even know how I'm doing this here. You know, I'm just going to make one hole. Come on the other side. We'll trace one hole. Maybe I'll do that a little more centered. That way I can pop that thing through. Mm -hmm. With the hopes that I can get a rough I can get a rough measurement of what I'm trying to do here. Measure twice, cut once? Yeah, you know, the right way. <laughs> Doesn't always work. My measurement's not so great a lot of time. <laughs> Let's see how close we are here. Eh, three inch, it's a little sloppy, but it gives me some room for air. How do I, how do we oddball this from there to there, not quite two inch and seven eighths, I'm trying to find some realm to measure this right here, then I'll trim it to represent my straight. I have no other way, otherwise normal me would have probably just punched two holes and hoped I got it straight. <laughs> so I'm trying to <laughs> minimize the problems here. <laughs> trying to be a little more proactive. Mostly because I've welded that panel in and I don't want to remake it. 
it would suck a lot less if you got it right the first time. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Look at you. First shot. There you go. How square is that? How square are we? I'm a little off on the left and right portion of it, but we can fix that. I'm trying to use this as my point that I want to touch to the side. I want this to go right to the edge, that's my goal anyways. I don't care that this is all wrong, I just want it to represent this corner. So that's pretty good. I think the tops are the same. That I can use that as a reference. One of my three eighths. It's probably enough forgiveness that if I screwed up, well, that's pretty good. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's try it out. As long as they're the same. Oh, yeah, I had to space. <laughs> you did that. Yeah. <clears throat> All righty. So we know this is the edge. And that is the top. So technically, that should work. I guess it's, I don't know, I don't think I mind that it's pretty high. Oh man, this is precision to what I normally would do. <laughs> It'll still be crooked somehow, but. Stop pushing. I think. This should. That looks centered? Are you asking me? <laughs> <laughs> now I have to find a way to get center so I can do that hydraulic punch. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Somewhere I got a ruler, I just gotta find it. Do I need a ruler? Nah, this'll work. Okay, that should be okay. It's a pretty big hole punch I gotta go. How do you do center? I mean, I guess you just would do, like you could be so far out, that's crud. <laughs> oh, I know what I'll do. I don't have a good way to find center when I'm uh, I used to have something like a triangle wedge, but this is what I'm technically gonna use. Yeah, I already had seen I was out. Yeah, see? Oh. My, my roundness was not gonna win me there. <laughs> Got there. Oh, there's still room for error here. <laughs> <laughs> Does that look right? Not exactly. Not from back here. I think that's better. I don't know why that center looks lower or something. I don't know. Where? Like this one looked lower than the other one. The light? Uh, the no, like the, the center mark. Oh, yeah, because I didn't think this one screwed up too. Hey, Pablo, you can't sit on everybody's feet though. It's just not pushing right now. People don't enjoy that. Okay. He just wants someone to touch him. Now we gotta drill some big old holes in there. You just need attention <clears throat> all the time. 
Start with a small one because it's much easier to drill. Hey Pablo, what do you think? We're gonna get it. Pretty sure my tool needed a much bigger hole than that. Yes, it does. Just give me a second here. Oh, I do have a hole saw here. Which one is this one? Probably the one that's burnt up is the one that's supposed to be the right size. I have a love-hate with these step bits. Screwed up right there. <laughs> bit bigger than that. Let's see. Three step bits later. I have lots of step bits, I just don't have any this big. Which is what this thing needs. That's very loud, eh? All right, let's get all the parts. <clears throat> this makes short work. And pops us some nice holes in things. Here. This goes through like that. If we did everything right. Oh, now I understand. This goes on like that. Yeah. Sure, it made it all the way through, but maybe not. There you go. One hole. I like that so much more than hole saw. Oh, I guess. Soon we'll see if I have to fill holes with stuff. <laughs> That's so awesome. That is very cool.
Two down, two to go. Two down, two to go. Hi, poppers. Hey, supervisor. I feel that one veered a bit, but we'll see. <laughs> I feel like you might be right, actually. We have room for forgiveness. Right. Oh, Pablo. He's pushing again. I'm touching you. I'm petting you. Last one. I guess in the end, it didn't matter what a feller would use here because you got know, well, provided don't goof up the hole crazy. It should be all here. Dang it. What just happened, Harry? Put this down, have a peek -see. Guess we can put our gasket in, we'll see. Oh. Where's my other one? Oh, it's over there. I think it's on the table. <clears throat> Okie doke. Survey says. Well, we don't need the gasket to check. This one's supposed to go to the other side, but I don't look like I screwed up too bad. There's a little, I'm a, I'm a wee bit off, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's do these ones. Get her in there, have a peek. Whole bunch of, whole bunch of screws. Okay. Well, that looks like it works. I'm pretty happy with that. It looks good. Throw a couple of screws in because they're going to have to do a whole. I still got to do a lot of welding yet. Let's throw one or two of these in and somebody will tell me I have it in there crooked somehow and that's probably possible. <laughs> to force it. Oh, I was going to say, I look crooked, but I think it's okay. You tell me. I'm sure oh, that one fit a little nicer. Got a runny, uh, runny nose. Makes for nice filming. Snorting along here. <laughs> We still have post-nasal drip from our colds. <laughs> see how, see if these actually look good. Well, I think they do. And we're pretty I committed, think I think, at this point, because they're on. <laughs> I think they look amazing. I love them. <clears throat> Just All right. looks so, so good. Back here. Looks good. I wonder if they look. Well, I wonder if a guy should French them yet. I'm not sure what I'm doing with the panel yet, like whether I'll float something on there. But, uh, well, let's quickly try to stick that on. Because whatever I do, I think I'm doing that style of a license plate holder. Uh, the 
da, 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 da. I'm sure it's this. We'll just ram two screws. We'll center it and then we'll ram two screws in there after. How far down to the top was that? I don't think it matters. Um. Ugh. Just melted goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Crispy. Well, I don't want to commit, so let me just tack this quick. Oh, if we eyeballed it, where do you say is good? Mm. Without actually going through the. Effort. I'm gonna say a wee bit more to the left, somewhere around there. It should go higher, but boy, that just makes me feel like I'm building a Corvette here. <laughs> I don't know. I Every, wonder why. <laughs> everything about it just feels like that now. <laughs> you. No bueno. No stick. Got a little piece of tape. Oh, I don't need a tape. Oh, it is. One of these. I think this is one of Trucker Bob's dealios here. Mm. There we go, mint. I don't know, it's neat. It'll be, <clears throat> I'm sure once there's like some trim, I don't know how to do that, but I think it needs something here. I question whether we should French these in a bit and then we can run the spear can go like hide, go behind the license plate. I vote for Frenching slightly. How much more work? <laughs> do whatever you want. You do you. You brought it up. It's your fault. <clears throat> but I think it would look good. I think because I do too. You have to imagine this line. I don't have an easy way just to show it, but I'm thinking. If this line and this, however, it should be. Oh, yeah. Well, we're not centered, but that's okay. Definitely not centered. Yeah, no. But if you had this, I know a lot of folks always want a nice visual. Whoops. Except well, for it makes it easier to understand, right? Yeah. You gotta imagine. You have to really squint and imagine that's the center line that I can't draw. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> nice try though. Good effort. <clears throat> so that looks like more of a hot mess there. Confusing, but I think if these were Frenched in, well, yeah, I'd, I guess we'd almost French it flush. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just wondering if I want to do that. I don't know. I have to sit and think about it. But we're not bad. I got to go back. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm, it looks great. I think it'll look better once we figure this out. Yeah. Because here we can, yeah. I don't know. I have to play with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got taillights though. Yeah, they're in there. It looks like something now. Yeah. I don't know what, but 
I think it'll look less Corvette-y if I do this. It looks very Corvette-y right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, hmm. Nice job. Worked out pretty easy. Yeah. Well. Cool. I am thinking that is probably where we're going to leave this one for now. I'm going to finish so. welding this back panel up. Okay. I don't know if I'll look at this. I'm pretty sure next round we're going to do... Uh, Maybe look at some dents and stuff like that. Or I'll get back to this, I'm not sure. We'll see how I feel later once I finish all this welding. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Anyways, folks, I think that is where we're gonna leave this one. Uh, as always, I wanna thank you all for watching and we will catch you on the next one. Later.